2024 is the woke gamer purge. Because one has to ask, if they hate gamers so much, why have they devoted their little pathetic lives to making video games? Oh, 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 that's right. To intentionally ruin them. Sweet Baby Inc. should change their slogan to We will give you a tax break for a couple million dollars, but your game will lose hundreds of millions of dollars because of it. That sounds perfect, right? That is the state of modern gaming. Hit the like button and make sure you subscribe. You will never find anybody as honest as me. Never in your life. Now, if there's something you want me to make a video on, just send me a message on Twitter. Now, imagine working at Kotaku and calling yourself a journalist. That would be highly regarded because Kotaku has as much credibility as Scientology and you know what? That's an insult to Scientology. Okay, I owe Tom Cruise an apology. Anyway, look, this is what happens when you give these types of lunatics an outlet. Remember when insanity was treated instead of being accepted? Because Kotaku is the sweet baby incorporated of journalism. No talent whatsoever, just preachy garbage. See, when you have nothing of substance in your life to aim towards, you start creating problems that don't exist and then start having wacky solutions for it. It's truly wild. I mean, let's really look at it. It honestly baffles me how Kotaku hasn't gone bankrupt yet with the nonsensical smooth brains that work over there. But you know what, when in doubt, Follow the money. BlackRock and Vanguard will happily sponsor anyone who pushes the message. We're gonna get to Kotaku in a minute, but there's one thing I think people have missed. The lady who runs Sweet Baby Inc., the founder, has been instructing her former colleagues of SBI, who are still working with those companies, to strong arm the marketing department if the executives don't agree with contracting them. That was essentially just her openly admitting extorting and threatening game developers. Saying something to the effect of the best tactic of getting a company to agree with you is to terrify them. It sounds insane to anybody with a brain, even me saying it out loud, but she actually said that. I mean, holy fucking sh I mean, that is basically using mafia tactics by telling these game developers, wouldn't it be so bad if you guys got cancelled for not being woke enough? Thankfully, you can hire us for millions of dollars and prevent it. Escalating your own agenda like that is so unprofessional. And then you start flaunting it as storytelling. I mean, that is not representation. That is just narcissism. You know, it's a nice game you got there. It would be a shame if somebody called it an ist. <laughs> that is essentially what she said. I mean, now it all makes sense, doesn't it? Why all these movies and video games are so bad. Everything is just so socio-political now. TV news, social media, everybody is tired of it. It's gotten so wacky in 2024 that you simply saying we don't give a f about your agenda, we just want good products, is what they then call an ist or a phobe, is getting out of control. And they are actively trying to make a new hierarchy where double standards are accepted. And hypocrisy clearly doesn't matter to them. By the way, these are the same people who say, it wasn't made for you, and then they complain that nobody went and saw the movie. Anyway, look, this Kotaku writer had a great idea. That great idea was to tweet, you can't be an ist against white people. You know, that that might be one of the dumbest statements I've heard in a long time. See, the only reason why people say that you can't be racist towards an ethnic group is to excuse unfettered racism towards said ethnic group. You'd have to be incredibly dense to think that makes sense. And now this same person, it should be noted, joined a Discord about the whole sweet baby drama and explicitly asked for people's information such as their name and picture. Doesn't that sound a little bit weird to you? Is she trying to cancel someone? One again. It's just so predictable and just all around gutter trash strategy. This person is just so lazy and incompetent. I don't even want to waste any more time talking about her. You know, we need a roster of all the associated businesses that use Sweet Baby Incorporated as a contractor because we need to vote with our wallets until they fade into obscurity. And if you buy any game that's been touched by this company, then you, my friend, are part of the problem. And I want to end on this. 
Titanic didn't make me cry. The Green Mile made me cry. One of my favorite movies of all time is called The Green Mile, starring Tom Hanks, Sam Rockwell, and the late great Michael Clark Duncan. Now, Michael Clark Duncan plays a character called John Coffey. He is black. But because the story is so good, the writing is impeccable, the acting is just perfect. No one cared about diversity because the focus was on the story. They chose the right people for the role, whether they're white, black, Asian, green, purple, no one cared. No one gave a fuck. It was about servicing the story first. Nobody has a problem with what the actor looks like. It's only when you clearly make it the main focus and everything suffers because of it is when people have an issue. I feel like you guys already know this. It's about meritocracy, not how you look. I mean, how many great movies in the 90s had black actors, Shawshank, Pulp Fiction, The Matrix? Or how about Forrest Gump? These are some of the best movies of the past 50 years. Just give us good stories and not your agenda. And on that bombshell, Manic's out.